Bad habits are one's enemies and are especially dangerous because it is almost impossible to know when they are costing you and your progress. One of the most common negative habits that can negatively influence your success and irritate you is multitasking. Over time, this unhealthy habit leads to diminished productivity, sluggish cognitive processing, and stress. Despite the fact that you end up with multiple unfinished jobs, multitasking will also make you feel like a productive person. The sensation of skill confidence is also a factor when multitasking. Even if you were able to do your tasks perfectly, multitasking caused you to make mistakes and fail to complete even the smallest of jobs. The easiest strategy to avoid multitasking and negatively impacting your progress is to group related tasks together and finish them before moving on to the next agenda item. In this video, we will discuss nine ways multitasking is killing your brain and productivity. Before we continue, please like and subscribe the channel and comment, subscribed we will try to reach as many as possible. Let's start. Number one, multitasking can cause permanent brain damage. A study from the University of Sussex, UK, compared the brain structure of participants with the amount of time they spent on media devices, like texting or watching TV. High multitaskers exhibited less brain density in the anterior cingulate cortex. Empathy and emotional restraint are controlled by this part of the brain. I feel that it is vital to raise an awareness that the way we are interacting with the devices might be affecting the way we think and these changes might be occurring at the level of brain structure. Multitasking, particularly when it involves the use of media devices, may, over time, irreversibly change the structure of the brain. Number 2. Reduction in Efficiency and Mental Performance Although switching between tasks often seems seamless, it actually involves a number of minor adjustments. There is a cognitive cost for each minor change. Every time you flip between answering emails and drafting an important paper, you're using up valuable mental energy. Multitasking destroys productivity, leads to errors, and prevents original thought. Humans can only keep a little amount of knowledge in their minds at any given time due to our relatively limited capacity for simultaneous thought. According to another study at University of California, it typically takes 23 minutes and 15 seconds to refocus following an interruption. And that's just one interruption. Imagine the amount of time that could go to waste from repetitive interruptions throughout a day. Next time you're about to switch between tasks, do the math and keep this in mind. Number 3. Multitasking reduces focus and concentration. According to neuroscientist and New York best-selling author Daniel Levitin, multitasking creates a dopamine addiction feedback loop, effectively rewarding the brain for losing focus and for constantly searching for external stimulation. Levitin suggests that the same regions of the brain that we need to stay focused on a task are also easily distracted. Each time we multitask, by browsing the internet, scrolling on social media feeds, checking emails, and so on, we train our brains to lose focus and get distracted. Here's the bad news. Just like the effects of a drug, our brains can get addicted to the dopamine rush from switching tasks and losing focus. Once this happens, it becomes very difficult to break the cycle. Number 4. Multitasking could make you dumber. According to a University of London study, people who multitask experience declines in IQ that brought them to the average level of an 8-year-old child. The next time you're going to multitask while writing an important email or paper, consider the potential that your work might not be all that different from an 8-year-old child in terms of quality. Additionally, studies have demonstrated that multitasking impairs learning. They discovered that, on average, the grades and GPA of students who use Facebook and reacted to SMS while completing coursework were lower than those who did not do such things. Human information processing is inadequate for handling many data streams and carrying out multiple tasks at once, according to the study. Our ability to absorb and process information efficiently is affected by multitasking because effective focus and attention are necessary for learning. 
Number 5. Multitasking Creates Stress and Anxiety Numerous researches have shown that multitasking boosts the stress hormone cortisol's production in our brain. Anxiety begins to build up when we're under stress and psychologically worn out, and as a result, stress levels rise. Constant tension and anxiety are a vicious circle. However, not all multitasking actions are difficult. Email inbox is certainly a major source of stress. We produce too much cortisol when we alternate between reading and responding to emails. Clear your email inbox as quickly as you can if you suffer from worries and stress. Number 6. Multitasking Kills Creativity Multitasking may limit originality and creativity. After all, sustained attention is the source of innovative thoughts. Because you're continuously switching and backtracking when you try to multitask, you usually don't travel far enough along any road to happen onto something original. The act of moving between tasks saps creativity. And when you were multitasking, innovative thoughts that may have come your way would slip your mind. So if you are a creator, this habit is not good for you. You must consider quitting this bad habit. Number 7. Multitasking could reduce emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is a common trait within 90% of top performers in any field. A successful relationship depends upon a stable state of compatibility from both spouses. Scientists suggest that multitasking could damage the part of the brain, anterior cingulate cortex, responsible for emotional intelligence. In addition, the two key components of emotional intelligence, self and social awareness, could diminish significantly due to multitasking. Emotionally, multitasking causes you to be distracted and actually lowers your EQ, emotional quotient. Research has proven that multitasking lowers both your self and social awareness. Relationships are complicated, particularly marriage, which is a multi-layered process that involves numerous implicit and explicit challenges for people to achieve adjustment. So if you want to live happily with your partner, then you must quit this habit. Number 8. Multitasking causes overwhelm and burnout. According to neuroscientists, multitasking is taxing on the brain and drains precious energy. Asking the brain to shift attention from one activity to another causes the prefrontal cortex and striatum to burn up oxygenated glucose, the same fuel they need to stay on task. And the kind of rapid, continual shifting we do with multitasking causes the brain to burn through fuel so quickly that we feel exhausted and disoriented after even a short time. We've literally depleted the nutrients in our brain. Multitaskers do multiple things at a time, not because they're skillful at multitasking, but because they get bored when they try to sit down and focus on something for a duration of time. Then they reason to themselves that they're great at multitasking, when in fact, they're just really bad at focusing. However, if you want to find success in what you're doing, then you must learn to embrace boredom and focus your attention on whatever it is you're working on. Number 9. Multitasking leads to stupid decisions. Multitasking also hurts decision-making skills. By constantly switching between tasks, precious willpower muscle is depleted. After you've made a lengthy series of decisions, this causes a buildup of decision fatigue, a psychological term for the decline in decision quality. After you've made a lengthy series of decisions, this causes a buildup of decision fatigue, a psychological term for the decline in decision quality. In addition to impulsive behavior and poor decisions, multitasking, one of the first things we lose is impulse control. This quickly depletes us to the point where, after making a number of unimportant decisions, we may wind up making very terrible decisions regarding something crucial. Delaying gratification and exercising the level of self-control necessary to accomplish our goals become considerably more difficult as a result. Here were nine ways how multitasking affect your brain. Protect your brain and productivity. Your brain isn't built to multitask and manage the barrage of information it faces on a daily basis. The best way to protect your brain is to practice single-taking. Focus on one thing at a time and take breaks every hour and half to regain your energy.
Work in a distraction-free environment. Keep phones and media devices out of sight. Multitasking feels good, but it isn't worth your time, energy, and certainly not your brain. That's it for today. If you like this video, like the video and subscribe the channel. We will see you in next video.